Aside. That's a dang good largemouth for here, though. I'll tell you what. It's a big, smally. Oh my gosh. Good morning, guys. It is a little windy right now, but uh, we're at one of my favorite lakes on this planet, and uh, the summer bite has begun. So, trigger warning for the anti technology folk. I'm putting out a lot of shallow content, no graphs, no nothing. Today, we're probably going to be doing a lot of using technology. So, we're going to go up shallow a little bit, um, mess around, but this is the time of year when these fish get off the bank and go chase bait schools. So you guys have seen videos in the past where you know how I won state championships last year. We're gonna do exactly that today because it's a set time of year when these fish do that. And as a tournament angler, you gotta do what it's gonna take to win. And uh, I do enjoy it, I really do. I learn a lot from watching these fish using live and uh, we're gonna go out, chase them and sharpen our skill. I haven't, I haven't done this in months. I've been uh, honestly fishing shallow, fishing instinctually without a technology, things like that. And uh, gotta sharpen that tool before the championship season comes upon us, that summer bite happens because this bite can be good. It's not easy to get on it. They're not easy to find. Not all of them are easy to catch. But if you haven't seen yet, we posted the kayak setup video for the new Hobie PA-14 for this year. Check that out. We actually filmed this later today, but the setup's pretty freaking cool. All right, I love this place. No houses, it's quiet, it's peaceful. Let's go catch some fish. a big old largey. These are all big largemouth. Out deep in like 20 foot of water. Just playing around trying different uh, techniques and such. We got us a good largemouth. I wasn't filming at the beginning. Finally decided to eat it. But there's so many of these blobs that will go down on the bait. That's a dang good largemouth for here, though. I'll tell you what. <laughs> That's a dang good largemouth for here. He choked that. Look at that, guys. I mean, that's a dang good largemouth. Largemouth. There you go. Sick. That's a good start to today. That's a great start. Thank you, Mama. That was fun. <laughs> All right, I guess we should start filming. We kind of playing around with a bunch of things. So I didn't want to film because we're going to do a long day. This works for me. <laughs> There's a bunch of these blobs down there, guys. Like these large mouths. So what I can tell is that I've seen a, a decent amount of like large blobs, obviously meaning fish. And they've been cruising this outside grass line. Like they're out in like, 21, 22 feet of water, right on the very edge of that deep grass line. A few of them will go down on it and they won't eat it. That one immediately had it. I watched it follow it down. And they're like, it's crazy. They're like a mid column. They're not actually on bottom. There's good fish in here. It's, it's not often you run into largemouth that big out here. See like that, followed it all the way down. Didn't eat it. Might still be on it. Yeah, he's still stuck to the bottom right now. It's crazy, like, if you can look past the side of the complaining and the negativity around it, you really do learn a lot if you pay attention and you use it correctly. You can learn a lot from this technology. I know there's some people that aren't going to like this video, and that's okay. I hope, you know, if, if you're watching this and you're not a, you know, you're not a fan of forward-facing sonar, I, I totally respect that and understand, you know, why you may or may not like it, but... I have plenty of videos where I don't use it that you can browse. But then again, there's some people that hate me just because I own a technology. <laughs> it is what it is, guys. You gotta, you gotta erase all the negativity in your life. Life short.
Long time no see. I know. Last time was Tunisia. Yeah, what was that? Two years ago? Yeah, yeah, something like that. It was a long time ago. Yeah, I've had this for two years now. I think. How is it? There ain't nothing better than it. I told my one buddy that he's out there fishing now. I told him about that like a year or two ago when I saw it on uh, Instagram somewhere. It's yeah. freaking bad to the bone, dude. I had in middle of August here last year. Yeah, that's a mega bag for M1. Yeah. Eat it. There we go. There you go. Largy? I don't even know. <laughs> I just saw it real quick. It looked like a largy. They're all over here. Feel free. You got scope, right? Yeah. I mean, there's there's like three of them with this thing. <laughs> Like, dude, I kid you not. Like, you go off that main point. That's a big large. <laughs> yeah. That's a big large. Come in. Come here. Give me a Yeah, like, dude, that's all that's out here. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> so much fun. Yeah, there was like four of them with it that size, too. Really? That's where all these fish go when they're not in the spring. It's nuts. There's like a few kayaks launched this morning. Yeah, I had a, there was a couple guys launching when I launched. They were up there talking or something. <laughs> I ain't got time for that. I gotta keep going. Yeah, screw all that crap. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see Forrest? What's that? Do you see Forrest? Is she coming? He's supposed to be. I didn't see him, but... I haven't heard from the, the slacker this morning yet, so he's probably still sleeping. There you go. That ain't the worst thing. That's big. What are you saying? Are you going to the Tuskegee? Uh, yeah. Are you? No. There's no tournament anymore. I just realized I missed the biggest guide in my spinning rod. My line's not even through it. <laughs> He's supposed to be here. <laughs> Probably. Usually shows up about one. It's a good kayak bass. That's long. Yeah, he said he was gonna come, but I don't know, maybe the wife grounded him. Well guys, we are simply graphing around right now looking for these roaming fish, bait balls, things like that. 
trying to get a bead on where they're going to be out here. Uh, right now they're on deep grass lines and right off that first lip, which definitely makes sense and we can run that. Um, just kind of going out and seeing if they're going to be out here in the middle of nowhere. There's a couple fish here and there. Uh, some of them are interested in the bait, but I honestly I think they might be Lakers. There's a couple smallmouth, I think, here and there, but they're not condensed like... Oh, there's something right there. Here we go. That's what we're looking for. Let's cast out there and see. Gosh, they move so fast. so fast. Well, that was bass. But that's kind of what we're looking for. Well, that's not actually what we're looking for. I mean, a single by itself is okay. I mean, it's cool, especially if we get it to eat. Um, but we're looking for straight up bait balls that'll have a bunch of fish around them. And then what that does, usually the bait will all school up together. You can go and just follow those bait balls and keep catching fish. And there's going to be a new fish that'll chase onto that bait ball and could be a cycle that you could run on for a long time. It's a lot of fun doing that too. Big smallie. Oh my gosh. It's a dang good one. These are the bait that we're busting. That's a dang good smallmouth, guys. It's a dang good large. It's a dang good small mouth. You got it really weird. It is in the mouth. I thought he got it outside the mouth for a second. It's a dang good one. He definitely shrunk a bunch when I got him in the net. Or I got him in out of the water, but guess what? Thank you, bud. That right there is what we're looking for. Weird. Weird that they don't want that. And being tricky tricky. That's exactly what we're looking for. <laughs> just goes to show you it's not a guarantee. You know, we got a lot of interest now and then. Just, it's not a guarantee that you're gonna catch one.
Oh, the thing was tiny. <laughs> well, I don't know how long my GoPro has not been running for. That's upsetting. That sucks. I've caught the living crap out of them. Getting sloppy with the GoPro. <laughs> That's not bad. No, not at all. Out here by himself. There you go, guys. Was a dang big one. Figures when I pull out the treble hook. Well, I figured out how to catch the tricky ones. That worked. Yes, sir. I didn't realize that. We were trying to sell to a developer. Can you what would have happened to this poor lake? That would be ruined. Yep. I don't know. Somebody told me Genesee Brewery oh. still pulls out of here. Smalley. <laughs> he ate it like three times. Is that your biggest of the day? Well, it's a good one, though. Oh, Jesus Christmas. Say inches and oh, there it goes. Inches and pounds. I got a freaking bag today. I probably got 95, 96. <laughs> Dude, that. So I cast it all the way out 90 feet. That fish comes up and I see it going down. I reel in. My bait separates from it, but I felt tension. So it had the tail. It chased it all the way back and I killed it. Dropped it down four, freaking 40 feet. Follows it all the way down and I just stop. Kills it, eats it. Oh, look. <laughs> what the heck is this? What is that? I don't know. Crappie. <laughs> Small mouth. Dude, they came up. It's like my bait wasn't even near them. They came up to check this out. How cool is that? Impressive. Like fishing aside. Fishing aside. Oh. He just jumped in the boat. It's going. He just jumped in the freaking boat. I only see pike do that. Yeah, that was 
freaking cool, man. <laughs> that was awesome. I wish he stayed in. <laughs> oh, that was cool. <laughs> He's a decent one, too. 16, 17? Uh, yeah, somewhere yeah, probably 17. Bigger than the one for his spot. Take that, pal. <laughs> I'll send him that clip later. <laughs> All right, guys. So you can see from the title, uh, the way I positioned that, yes, I was out scoping, catching smallies that were roaming out there. And before you jump to any comments you know about the whole forward facing sonar thing you guys have been getting a lot of content from me where i'm not using it and i have a lot more content coming that has no technology involved we're just fishing this is a means that i do enjoy fishing this way but if you really can get beside the whole arguments around it you can learn a lot from this technology where it's the smallmouth that i were chasing they were chasing specific bait balls specific forage out there as well as there's a lot of rogue trout that are in this lake as well and they will swim with the trout it's really cool to see that they'll swim with carp they will they will put themselves around other species of fish uh, because in my theory it's that if they're having a hard time finding the fish themselves they'll actually try to I want to say that they'll look to other species to see if those species are then tailing bait. They'll come check those out. Smallmouth are just very curious. And you can see that there's a couple times where they literally just came up to my boat because of the shadow out in the middle of nowhere over there. They came up to check out the boat. Um, I didn't even have a bait in the water. So really cool to see, especially if you can just, you can put aside the whole argument about technology right now. There's a lot you can learn about these fish from it. Let me know, if what, whatever you've learned, what you've learned from this video, uh, if you guys want more or less of this stuff, I'm all ears for it, because I like it both. I like every style where I can go catch some fish. So let me know down below. Appreciate you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.